Kid News fans, did you know there's a way to hear the news without hearing ads? Parents and teachers can subscribe to StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts to not only ditch the commercials, but also unlock access to future bonus episodes and other exclusives from the StarGlow Media Network. That means ad-free listening of Kid News every weekday, plus ad-free episodes of Mysteries About True Histories for Riddle-Obsessed Adventurers, Girl Tales for a fun spin on fairy tales, Music Land Stories to help young music lovers catch the beat, and audiobooks adapted for young listeners with classic titles, including Little Women and Moby Dick. Visit StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe to sign up for StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or wherever you like to listen. That's StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Thursday, September 5th, 2024. And we begin with the capital city of Arizona melting right through a major milestone. Phoenix has now logged its 100th straight day of over 100-degree weather, according to the National Weather Service, and the agency says there is no end in sight. This year's sweaty streak began on May 27th, when Phoenix hit 102. The previous record for triple-digit scorchers was 76 straight days set in 1993. A professor at Arizona State University's Urban Climate Research Center called the record a historic and alarming bench mark in our ongoing struggle with extreme heat and warns people, especially the elderly, to do all they can to stay cool. Arizona isn't the only state sweltering. According to ABC News, more than 35 million Americans in eight states from California to North Dakota are on high alert for extreme heat and potential wildfires. While the weather may not feel like it, it's now officially football season. The NFL kicks off play tonight with the Baltimore Ravens in Kansas City to take on the reigning Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Week 1 games continue through the weekend, culminating in Monday night football, when the New York Jets, with now healthy Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, travel to play last year's Super Bowl runner-up, the San Francisco 49ers. Another highlight, the NFL's first-ever game in Brazil tomorrow, where the Green Bay Packers and Philadelphia Eagles will meet up. At all these kickoff games, the kickoffs themselves will look a little different as the league changed the rules to make them safer and easier to return. For the second year in a row, a country song has snagged the top spot on Billboard's Songs of the Summer chart. I Had Some Help by Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallen was this year's winner, one year after Wallen's 2023 song Last Night took the top honor. The chart tracks songs based on popularity and streaming sales for 14 weeks, and I Had Some Help was number one for every one of those weeks. Songs by Shabuzi and Kendrick Lamar came in second and third. He's smart, friendly, and so handsome that he's landed a spot on the cover of a calendar. Meet Barney, the chocolate-colored German short-haired pointer who just won TSA's cutest canine. Typically, you'll find the five-year-old pooch sniffing luggage at San Francisco International Airport. Now he's a national celebrity. It took two rounds of voting on the Transportation Safety Administration's social media sites. The contest is held every year to celebrate National Dog Day at the end of August. The grand prize, a photo on the cover of TSA's 2025 canine calendar, which is free and set to be released this fall. Barney began his career with TSA in 2022. His job is to sniff out anything that shouldn't be brought aboard a plane. According to Axios, he has a strong work ethic, plenty of drive, and a heart of gold. His favorite reward for his hard work? A squeaky ball. Grab the popcorn and settle in for an epic showdown in U.S. Open tennis. For the first time in nearly two decades, an American is guaranteed to make the men's singles final. The question is, who will it be? Francis Tiafo and Taylor Fritz both won their quarterfinal showdowns in four sets apiece and will face each other in the semis tomorrow. Tiafo's prediction, according to The Guardian, it's going to be epic. Let the best man win. Still ahead, what pineapples have to do with finding love in Spain. But first, today's Kid News Quiz. What is the name of the dog voted TSA's cutest canine?
Barney, which two NFL teams will play tomorrow in the league's first ever game in Brazil? The Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles. What song won Billboard's 2024 Song of the Summer? I Had Some Help by Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallen. What Arizona city just hit temperatures of 100 or higher for 100 straight days? Phoenix. In today's Kid News Kicker, they're looking for love in some very strange places. A social media craze has led singles in Spain to overwhelm Mercadona supermarkets, so much so that according to Sky News, police were called to one store to break up the crowd. The TikTok trend encourages those searching for significant others to visit stores between 7 and 8 p.m. and put a pineapple upside down in their shopping cart. If a person is interested in someone, they gently bump that person's cart with their own. If the feeling is mutual, they bump back or just start chatting. Other items in the cart provide more clues. Chocolates mean the person is looking for a serious relationship, while beans mean they want something more casual. The craze is so popular that pineapples have become scarce in some stores, but Mercadona is embracing it, even posting a picture of a pineapple on its TikTok account with the words, waiting for you to get a date. Not to miss out, the supermarket chain Lidl is inviting their customers to their hour of love between 6 and 7 p.m. to look for those with a watermelon. Before we go, shout-outs to our teachers, Mrs. Hogue's Bulldogs at Blakely School in Bainbridge Island, Washington, Mrs. Weiss's 5th grade scholars at Fenton Charter Leadership Academy in Sun Valley, California, and Ms. Haley's Lions at Illuminate Academy in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for listening. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share Kid News with all your friends and family. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.